Hi everyone, today's video is a redesign on my client. She's come back after about two weeks. She wants me to do the pink and white ombre that she's got on her pinky finger on all the rest of the nails. These are all powder sets, so I will be filing the rest down to the clear layer. And I'm just removing my crystals with some old nippers. Um, so first to start with pushing back the cuticles on all the nails um, and then I'm going to come in with my extra coarse safety bit and my e-file and just take that acrylic back down to that clear layer. So I'm just tidying up the shape of the nails before I come in with my cuticle clean bit. Um, this is just do, I'm just doing this so I've got a little bit less filing to do later on. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It's just personal preference. So I'm just uh, yeah going in with my cuticle clean bit now uh, around the cuticle. Um, first I like to go anti-clockwise to the left and then clockwise to the right. I do change the direction of my e-file when I'm doing this. just feel like it um, pushes back the cuticles out a little bit more. And then once I've done all that I'll come in with my medium grit uh, sanding band on a really low speed just to etch that natural nail growth area. I'm just adding my dehydrator and acid primer before filling in that tiny bit of growth with a very, very small bead of clear acrylic. So I do all that and then uh, apply my design. Um, all my core line and the colours that I'm using are from Diamond Now Supplies. Um, the clear is called Clarity, the white is called Brilliance and the pink that I'm using is called Perfect Pink. Um, if you do go on the website, I do have a discount code, which is Emma10, which should get you about 10% off of your order if you're going to have a look. So 
So in doing my ombre, um, I try to concentrate on blending the bead up the nail towards the cuticle area first before I take it down the length of the nail. Um, I just want to make sure that I blend that out quite nicely so there's no harsh lines. adding that pink on now um, using quite small beads to do this um, just so that I can control um, the level of blend I'm getting and so it's not too much not too little um, and I do that to all the nails and when I'm happy with that blend I'll then encapsulate them with my clarity and that's going to save your blend and your filing but also build your structure Filing the side walls and the free edge now. I've got a little bit less to do because I did that little bit of filing before I started applying the acrylic. Then I'm going to whip over with my e file on a medium speed with a medium grip carbide smooth top bit. And this just to debulk the nails and gives me a little bit less work to do with my hand file. Once I've gone over that, I will go over with my hand file around the cuticle area to make sure that it's flush to the natural nail and smooth out any lumps and bumps. And you've got to keep an eye on that structure, make sure you're not filing out your apex or anything like that. Um, and yeah, once that's all done, I'll cleanse all the nails of any dust and apply my top coat. The top coat that I'm using is my Tack Free Top Shine. Again, that's from Diamond Nail Supplies. Top coat I'm using here is Diamond Nail Supplies Tack Free Top Shine, which cures 60 seconds in an LED lamp. Um, and then once that is cured, I'll add my cuticle oil. I've left a photo at the end of the finished product. It's a nice, simple set. So if you like it, please uh, like and subscribe, and ask me any questions in the comment section. And